Imagine a fleet of fearsome longships gliding silently down the Seine River, their dragon head prows cutting through the mist as Paris comes into view. The year is 845 and the city is about to face one of the most formidable enemies it has ever known. The Vikings, a seafaring people from Scandinavia, have come not just for plunder, but to test the strength of the Frankish Empire. This is the story of how the Vikings nearly took Paris and almost changed the course of French history forever. By the 9th century, the Vikings had already earned a fearsome reputation across Europe. Their raids were swift, brutal, and left entire communities devastated. But their ambitions extended beyond simple plunder. They sought control and dominance. One of the first significant Viking sieges of Paris occurred in 845, led by the legendary chieftain Ragnar Lothbrok. With a fleet of 120 ships and 5,000 warriors, Ragnar sailed down the Seine, aiming directly for the heart of the Frankish kingdom. According to legend, Ragnar Lothbrok's personal vendetta against Paris stemmed from his desire to avenge an insult made by the Frankish king Charles the Bald. The Vikings were expert navigators, using the rivers of Europe like highways, making cities like Paris vulnerable to attacks from their longships. When Ragnar's forces arrived in Paris in March 845, they encountered little resistance. Paris was poorly defended, and the Frankish forces that attempted to stop the Vikings were quickly defeated. As they entered the city, terror swept through its population. Ragnar's strategy was simple, lay siege, demand ransom, and use fear as a weapon. King Charles the Bald, realizing that his kingdom was ill-prepared for a prolonged conflict, offered Ragnar a huge sum of 7,000 pounds of silver and gold to spare the city. The ransom that Charles the Bald paid to Ragnar is often cited as one of the largest tributes ever paid to Viking raiders. Despite being paid off, Ragnar's forces still ravaged the countryside around Paris, showing that even immense payments couldn't guarantee peace. The Viking thirst for Paris was not quenched in 845. In 885, a much larger force, estimated to be between 30,000 to 40,000 Vikings, arrived at Paris under the command of leaders like Siegfried and Rollo. This time, Paris was better prepared. Under the leadership of Count Odo, the city had constructed new fortifications, including a massive tower and two bridges across the Seine, which would become crucial in defending the city. The Vikings initially demanded tribute, but Odo refused. They launched a series of brutal attacks on the city's walls, employing siege weapons like battering rams, catapults, and even fire. However, the Parisian defenders repelled these assaults using boiling oil, wax, and other countermeasures. One of the key figures in the defense was Bishop Goslin, who not only offered spiritual guidance but also fought on the front lines with a bow and an axe. The defenders managed to rebuild damaged towers overnight, a feat that shocked the Viking forces when they returned for battle the next morning. The siege dragged on for months, with both sides suffering greatly. The Vikings attempted several creative strategies to break Paris's defenses, including using burning ships to destroy the bridges. Although these attempts failed, the persistent pressure began to take its toll on the defenders. In early 886, Flooding caused by heavy rains destroyed parts of Paris's bridges, leaving a critical tower isolated. The Vikings stormed the tower and killed its defenders, but Paris still refused to surrender. The Vikings attempted to fill the Seine with debris, including the bodies of dead animals and prisoners, in an effort to cross over into the city. Count Odo personally slipped through Viking lines to appeal for reinforcements from the emperor, demonstrating his commitment to saving the city. Despite their best efforts, the Vikings couldn't completely capture Paris. Their morale began to falter and disease spread among their ranks. By April 886, the Vikings had grown tired of the siege. Siegfried, one of the Viking leaders, agreed to a payment of 60 pounds of silver to lift the siege. However, another leader, Rollo, remained behind with a smaller force, continuing to harass the region. Eventually, Reinforcements led by Emperor Charles the Fat arrived and the Viking threat was finally driven off. Rollo, who participated in the siege, would later become the first ruler of Normandy and an ancestor of William the Conqueror. This siege marked a turning point in European history. 
as it exposed the need for stronger fortifications and a unified defense against Viking raids. The Great Viking Siege of Paris in 885 to 886 was one of the most dramatic and significant events of the Viking Age. Although the Vikings didn't capture Paris, their siege left a lasting impact on the city and the Frankish Empire. The events of this siege not only demonstrated the strength and determination of the Parisian defenders, but also the cunning and resilience of the Viking invaders. If you enjoyed this journey through history, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss another fascinating story from the past. Join us next time on for more tales of adventure, intrigue, and the events that shaped our world.